recent years, the relationship between China and Brazil uh, has developed rapidly as we expected. Now, what's your comment on the current China-Brazil relation? Well, I agree with you that the recent development of our relationship is quite extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Today, China is our number one individual trading partner. Uh, President Dilma Rousseff uh, was extremely pleased with her reception in Beijing by President Hu Jintao. She also met with Prime Minister Wen Jiabao and the chair of the National People's Congress, uh, and then had the occasion also of visiting Hainan uh, mm -hmm. for the BRICS summit. Uh, this was an opportunity to take stock of the many uh, accomplishments in our relationship, mm -hmm. not only in trade and investment. Uh, we have one of the most ambitious projects in science and technology between developing exactly. countries, the China-Brazil Earth Resources Satellite. Mm -hmm. But what we would like to see is uh, an enhanced relationship that would even take us further and maybe go beyond complementarity, mm -hmm. as we say, into new areas of cooperation in science and technology, mm -hmm. in addition to political dialogue and uh, uh, greater uh, in exchange between the population of the two countries. Mm -hmm. And then in what aspect do you think uh, Sino-Brazil need to improve at this moment? Well, I was mentioning trade. Of course, in quantitative terms, mm -hmm. it is a very satisfactory relationship. Um, this year, the trade uh, figures are even more impressive than last year. We've almost reached uh, a total trade in the two directions comparable to 2010, and mm -hmm. we're only in the month mm -hmm. of, uh, well, almost beginning of October. Uh, so, um, what we are looking at is the qualitative aspect of trade. Mm -hmm. I was very pleased that Minister Chen Deming, uh, mm -hmm. who deals with trade issues, was recently in Brasilia uh, at the head of a um, business um, group, mm -hmm. uh, looking precisely at how we can diversify more Brazilian exports to China. Mm -hmm. When President Dilma Rousseff was in Beijing, we organized a large business uh, meeting uh, and the theme of the meeting was beyond complementarity. Mm -hmm. What we would, would like to see is Brazil not only exporting uh, iron ore, soya, oil, and commodities, but also increasingly exporting manufactured goods, more airplanes, uh, more um, uh, electrical appliances, mm -hmm. and other uh, right. items of this nature. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to that, I think the two countries have been coming closer together, but mm -hmm. distance is still an impediment for more contact between the population mm -hmm. uh, of Brazil and, and of China. So if we have more direct air links uh, with China, uh, I would like to see more Brazilians visiting China, more Chinese visiting Brazil. Of course. And well, Brazil and China are both developing countries and members mm -hmm. of BRICS, right? right. Uh, what's your view about the roles that China and Brazil play in the international affairs? Well, both uh, China and Brazil, uh, although they are still developing countries and they have challenges in um, combating poverty, and uh, uh, I think both countries have demonstrated very strong resilience uh, mm -hmm. after the economic crisis of 2008. And today, they're among the 10 largest economies in the world. They're both members of the G20. Mm -hmm. um, as members of the BRICS group, uh, they have been coordinating on a number of important uh, issues and on improving global governance. Uh, one area where I think we've already had some success is in improving the um, participation of developing countries in the IMF in Washington and the World Bank. This has been through effective coordination among the BRICS. Uh, recently at Hainan Island, uh, President Hu Jintao hosted mm -hmm. the BRICS leaders and included South Africa in the group. Uh, so I see a very um, uh, great potential for mm -hmm. enhanced coordination, not only on financial and economic issues, but also on political and peace and security issues. Recently, I was in New York for the United Nations General Assembly, and we had a meeting of BRICS foreign affairs ministers, mm -hmm. where Minister Yang Jiaxi was present, and we were able to coordinate on a number of issues. I, I would also like to coordinate closely on Rio Plus 20. Mm -hmm. uh, Brazil and Rio de Janeiro, my hometown, mm -hmm. uh, are hosting next year uh, the Conference of the United Nations on Sustainable mm -hmm. Development. And as countries that coordinate themselves also on environmental issues through the basic group, which includes Brazil, South Africa, India, and China, mm -hmm. I think we can ensure that the conference uh, produces uh, significant results. Right. And finally, uh, October 1st is China's National Day. 
Mr. Minister, would you like to say something to our Chinese audience? I heard that you are uh, learning Chinese, right? Mm -hmm. Would you like to say something in well, Chinese? I hope I can say this correctly. Right. Uh, I wish all the best mm -hmm. to, to the Chinese people. I still remember today when I took my young sons, mm -hmm. uh, they were five and seven at the time, to Tiananmen Square on October 1st, 1987, mm -hmm. uh, many years ago, to celebrate another uh, first of October. And since then, China has made extraordinary strides um, in creating better opportunities for the Chinese people, mm -hmm. uh, better livelihood, and becoming an um, industrial powerhouse and uh, a very important player in international affairs. So um, I wish the Chinese people and the Chinese government a, a very brilliant future. And I mm -hmm. will also uh, commit myself to ensuring that our relationship um, makes progress uh, as it has in recent years um, and we would like to see uh, greater stronger links between our countries between our societies between our peoples exactly yeah, thank you so much for being with us uh, mr. minister thank you thank you thank thank <laughs>